Hi all, welcome back. Today, I would like to share what I learned about multi-craft configuration for Pocketmine server, and how to install many games using multi-craft control panel. If you already know multi-craft, please bear with me for a second. For those not familiar with multi-craft, basically, this is most popular Minecraft control panel used by almost all Minecraft server hosting company today. The good news is that it come with a free version for personal use. That is what I am going to show you today, how to install multi-craft in your home PC, and how to install many games using multi-craft in your hosted server. Specifically, how to configure Pocketmine to work with multi-craft for first time. The free version of the multi-craft allow installation of single Minecraft server on a machine, with maximum of 10 players support. If you feel you have need to hosting more than one Minecraft server, then you have to pay for it. I think for this demo purpose, one server is fine, we just need to install each mini game separately. Okay, let's start by downloading the correct version of the multi-craft for your desktop operating system. For me, I download Windows version. It's a zip file. After download, I unzipped a folder. Unfortunately, Pocketmine support files doesn't come with multi-craft default installation files. We need to get the jar configuration files from multi-craft website, a copy of the Pocketmine server for your operating system, and Java installed. Java is used by multi-craft own services. If already have Java installed, then that is good. If you don't have then go to www.oracle.com web link to download the correct version for your operating system. Alright, let's continue on zip downloaded multi-craft zip file to my temporary folder. Then I make two copy of this one for installing Pocketmine and Skyblock mini game, and the second copy of for the Hunger Games. Let's check out multi-craft files. Most important information is under multi-craft folder. The jar folder is the place to put base Minecraft server installation files and configurations. As you see, there is no Pocketmine server configuration here. We need to download Pocketmine files from Pocketmine.net for the server and configuration from multi-craft website. I have attached a copy of these files on this video description. After download the Pocketmine files, I place them into a folder. The Pocketmine folder is the default Pocketmine server installation, and the other two is for launch script Pocketmine. Once we move these files into multi-craft jar folder, then we will able to choose Pocketmine server from the server list. Let's double check Java install on this desktop before we launch Multicraft server. If you still don't have Java yet, please go to oracle.com to download. Otherwise, Multicraft is not going to work without Java. Lastly, we need to make sure Multicraft configuration is point to the correct location of the Java installation. Next, let's launch this default configuration multi-craft server once, then make copy of this and use as template for minigam servers Skyblock and Hunger Games. After we have Pocketmine script, server, we are ready to install Skyblock minigame. 
Multicraft come with FTP server that we can use to upload plugin files to pocket mine plugin folder and world to server worlds folder. Next, we need to ensure server.properties configuration value default home world is sky block on, and level is sky block generator. Multicraft FTP client allowing line editing of the server property files here we can also set the level name equals sky block on, and level type equals sky block. Check the plugin folder. Make sure you upload Skyblock plugin files here. Next check Skyblock worlds are uploaded here. There are two ways to upload worlds here. Zip the world folder. Upload the zip file or manually create folder. And upload individual files. Both way works. First one is easier. Let's review the key settings again. Click Advanced tab, ensure world name is Sky Block Hub. and look for jars and server jar directory is selected. One final check then we are ready to connect to the server with MacPE.
On the bottom of the screen it show connected players. Alright, we have successfully installed Skyblock in Multicraft. This is very nice. Let's quickly browse other features in Multicraft. After you've seen the step-by-step -step process of installing Skyblock using Multicraft panel, we are familiar with the general approach and settings already and some steps are similar for installing plugins and upload worlds. For Hunger Games, let's do a quick install. Start with creating a new server, with the home world name. After we create the server, then we can directly copy the plugin folders, worlds on multi-craft server directory instead of using FTP. This way is the quickest one. Next update server.properties and pocketmine.mol configurations for loading multiple worlds. This is very good. Hunger Games works in multi-craft. That is for today folks. I hope you find this video useful on how to install Skyblock and Hunger Games in Multicraft. I think this approach should work for most of the Minecraft hosting server, except case with environment issues. Thanks for watching, have a good day bye. If you like to keep up to date then subscribe for future updates.